What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Tesla, but most of all, happy Thanksgiving. Happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. I think I'm most thankful for not paying for gas. That's why we got this dedicated charger. We don't have to pay for gas anymore. I'll tell you what guys, it is, it is fantastic getting to your car every morning and having what essentially is a full tank. You know, you just, you just kind of charge overnight and you're good to go. But, but what I'm actually very thankful for Family, friends, this car, this house, uh, it is, it is. you know, you can't take anything for granted. You got to work with what you got, um, but uh, definitely be thankful for it. And enjoy, enjoy any time you can with family, friends that are around that you have. Um, and uh, yeah, speaking of family and friends, I'm heading off right now to check in on my grandmother, see how she's doing, say happy Thanksgiving. Then I got to run some errands on the way to my girlfriend's house for Thanksgiving full day of uh, appetizers, snacks, and then ho hopefully a, a turkey. There's some more deal with the turkey not getting, and anyways, uh, very thankful for a lot of things. Uh, thank you guys for checking out the channel. Thank, thank you for all the subscribers. We just cross, crossed the 700 subscriber mark. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you. But today, today, uh, I just wanna say that I am most thankful, most thankful for a pre-purchase inspection that I recently got. Yes, um, so if you guys have been watching the channel, I recently went to uh, Dallas, Texas, also Austin, but more importantly, Dallas, Texas, where I checked out an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Let's get out of this garage real quick because it's a little dark and then we'll continue on with the story. Wait for it. <laughs> Thankful for that awesome acceleration and instant torque. Thankful for free unlimited supercharging. Thankful for that tire spin. Yep, definitely thankful for that instant torque. That is just so much fun. And it, it really never gets old. That's that's the crazy thing, right? Like you think like after a while, oh, you don't want to floor it anymore. You're used to it, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. You get a Tesla, all you do is accelerate because that is the beauty and the fun of having a Tesla. Especially because you don't have to pay for like poor gas mileage every time you floor it. You just use a couple more electrons, you know, and you just plug your car in overnight and then it's full the next morning. <laughs> well, your electricity bill goes up by like a little bit, but like not as much as you would pay in gas for a performance car. So it is a blast. Anyways, let's get back to that V8 Vantage that I was telling you about and very, very thankful that I got the pre-purchase inspection on. So this video, Although it is Thanksgiving and there's a lot of things to be thankful for, uh, I was very thankful I opted for that pre-purchased inspection. Well, here's why. So whenever you're looking at getting a car, especially a used car, especially an older used car, especially an older used, potentially exotic, hand-built British car, I highly suggest getting a pre-purchase inspection. And this is basically a super cheap form of insurance because these cars typically expensive to work on, uh, especially Aston Martins, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, they're all very expensive. So seeing as how, uh, well, let's just say higher priced exotic sports cars or supercars or whatever you want to call them, uh, they're pretty expensive to work on and maintain if things go wrong. Uh, you want to make sure you cover your bases. Um, so these Aston Martins are, are pretty reliable. However, there's really two big things that you do have to worry about. One is the clutch. Uh, now I was looking at a manual car, so luckily the clutch doesn't go as quickly. It should last a fairly long time. However, I was looking at one with almost 40,000 miles on it, which means that depending on the previous owners, which you don't know how they drove it, it may need a clutch. And if it hasn't had a clutch recently, that can get pretty pricey. So clutches, I think they're, uh, they, they come out to being like around a little over $8,000, yeah. Um, pretty expensive to do a clutch because it is an engine out procedure. Uh, I have a breakdown of the, the prices here so you can actually see how much it is. Um, point being, if you need a clutch, they're expensive. And if you're only buying a car, a lot of these used Aston Martins are in the mid 30s to $40,000 you're putting in another 20% of that value just to get a new clutch right after you purchase the car. So luckily, the clutch was slipping on this Aston Martin V8 Vantage, and uh, yeah, that's that's never a good thing, which means I would need a clutch 
relatively soon, if not right away. Um, there was no way I would comfortably be driving that car from Texas back to Maryland. I could have had it shipped, but I, I did want to drive it. It would have been fun. So that saved me there. Now, the next thing on this pre-purchase inspection list that was checked off is the fact that the uh, the timing case cover, I guess there's like a gasket on the timing case, and that was leaking. Uh, now, this is another $4,000 job. So alone, we're already looking at well over 10 grand in just these two repairs on this car. And well, this car was for sale for around $34,000, which means that you're looking at almost a third of the car's value in repairs as soon as you buy it. And that's never a fun thing. So this $400 pre-purchase inspection, 1% of the car's value, was much, much, much appreciated and very thankful I opted for it because it saved me thousands of dollars in repairs. Now these were the two major repairs that, that popped up on the pre-purchase inspection. They, grow, they go through the car, they go through the exterior, interior, they note every possible thing that's wrong. Um, the dash was pulling a little bit. There were some, uh, there's scratches on, on one wheel. Um, you know, there's the typical dings and dents. Um, nothing major, but like small things. To, I mean, it's a, it's a 2007, right? It's a 12 year old car. Things are gonna happen, that's understandable. Um, but in addition to those two major repairs, there were also some other ones that were still fairly expensive. Uh, a couple of the struts were going bad. I know the, uh, the rear trunk, if you lifted it up and you, and you let go, it would just slowly close back down. So those, those struts were clearly going bad. Um, they also said that the door struts and the front hood struts were also not uh, operating at their full capacity. So those would have to be replaced at some point. Um, all in all though, these repairs came out to eight just under $19,000 in repairs. That's almost two thirds of what I was paying for this car in things that I would, could immediately get fixed on it because uh, there were issues with them. So needless to say, very thankful I got this pre-purchase inspection. Uh, it definitely saves you. I highly recommend getting a pre-purchase inspection for any major purchase, especially a major pur purchase on an older uh, exotic sports car. Uh, it can definitely save you a lot of money in the long run and, and make you much happier and much more confident in your purchase. Um, so if there's one thing you take away from this uh, Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday, because Black Friday it's all about saving money, getting those deals, and well, I'll tell you what, that pre-purchase inspection was a deal and a half because I would rather pay that 400 bucks and pass on the car than pay $19,000 in repairs as soon as I buy a brand new car. So yes, definitely go for the PPI. Uh, they are a huge help. Um, they can be expensive. $400 is definitely like the upper range of what they charge, uh, but it was really the only thing available to me uh, on short notice at the time in Dallas where I, I don't know any local mechanics. I did some research beforehand, but I also wasn't really sure if I was gonna even go get the car or not. Either way, I ended up just going to Dallas, about da Aston Martin of Dallas, Super friendly folks there, uh, very nice people. Apparently it's also a Pagani dealership. So yeah, uh, I had no idea. Unfortunately, there weren't any Paganis out, so I didn't see any Paganis, but um, yeah, we didn't get the V8 Vantage. We are still on the search for another car, whether it's a V8 Vantage or maybe an older B6, B7 S4, E36 M3, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I'm still trying to play it by ear, also considering manual Gallardo. I know there's a huge price difference in all of these cars. They would be for very different things. Um, I have my reasons, but uh, either way, I'm, I'm very thankful I got the pre-purchase inspection. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you guys are enjoying the content, please consider liking and subscribing. But I think that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoy the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, time with family and food. And uh, well, I guess until next time, thanks for watching.